it's, yeah, it's great. We so far we we got about 26 awards. Um, we got in Greece a few days ago. We got four. So <laughs> it's very yeah, it's really beautiful. Uh, I mean, it's not something you think of when you're making the movie. You're focusing on the uh, on the work, but it's great to to see that people it's reaching people. People audiences are liking it, and as well as critics and uh, jury, so I couldn't be happier because it, uh, it looks like it's a film that um, audiences like and, and critics, so, so I'm very happy, yeah. <laughs> the story is based on uh, about 600 testimonies that I gathered over about six years, so um, I was trying to, to give voice to migrants and to gather all these different stories to, to make um, a collective testimony through the eyes of some children. And then um, I, uh, so yeah, I wrote the story, uh, but I also collaborated with, with two other writers. First with Gibran, who, who is a theater writer, and uh, he has a great sense of humor, and, and uh, it was really great to collaborate with him, and, and he really helped me to edit um, all those 600 testimonies, because I, I had a very, very long script because I was trying to get everybody's testimony in there and, and uh, so I was, he helped me to kind of edit it and to put some humor. But yeah, I, I have a concept and then from there I, I draw on, I draw upon, upon the idea, yeah. The difficult thing is to go from the idea to how you articulate the idea because it's um, you have to find a concept, uh, sorry, a conflict. You have to find uh, how to uh, how to dramatize the idea, because a film is not really about. Uh, you cannot be just talking out loud your idea. You have to express it through characters, through situations, through, through drama, through conflict. So, in this case, my idea was to talk about brotherhood of uh, human beings beyond uh, nationalities, beyond races, beyond borders. Um, I wanted to question all those things, you know, like borders and documents and all these uh, artificial creations we've made to separate one from the other. I thought of, of um, the idea I had was to to express that idea through the conflict of a mixed race uh, Guatemalan who, who believes in the Western model and an indigenous character who has a very different cosmogony. So, and I thought of, I will make them clash. And then uh, one, the one that believes in the Western model will change by having, ma having met this uh, indigenous character that will show him a different way of looking at life. And, and I thought, why we're always trying to change uh, indigenous cultures, and, and we're always trying to impose this uh, this Western model on them, and we've been exterminating them for many centuries. So I wanted to inverse the situation and, and have the Westerner learn from an indigenous and uh, and, and learn from their values, because in the in this film, there is an external journey, which is the theme of migration and, and, and the political situation between the North and the South. And there's also an internal journey of, of a, a human being who's trying to realize their dreams and, and what they're learning is in this journey. You know? So try, I try to make a parallel in the journey with life. So there is a, the, there are obstacles. There are there is learning. There is joy. There is sadness. There is death. There is, um, and in this process, you you learn to accept your human condition or your your. Uh, that at the end, we're just uh, we're all the same. You know? We all have the same needs. We all have the same dreams, and. Um, I wanted to, to, to talk about what we share in the human experience. I had to start working since I was 
young, you know, like everyone else, you have to make a living. So I, and I couldn't afford um, to go to film school. So I thought, well, I will make a living and at the same time I will work my way up and to one day, you know, I always was clear I wanted to make movies. Um, but I thought, it, it, for some reason, I always thought it would take me some time because, um, yeah. So I, I started working with uh, Ken Loach in, in London Freedom, which was an incredible experience as, as a camera assistant. That was back in 95. And then after that, I worked in, um, I don't know, in more than 20 films, and, and, and then I worked my way up. Uh, I was able to save some money and then eventually go back to film school. Film is, is a visual medium, so it's part of telling a story, is, is to, to know and understand how to tell a story visually. So uh, I always place the camera with the finder. I, 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 I am responsible for telling the story. Of course, I collaborate with my cinematographer, which in this case was a female cinematographer, Maria Seco, who she's great. She did a great job. But, but yeah, I do place the camera and then uh, and then I let her improvise. I also, I treat my camera person as an actor or as an actress, so I also direct them. Um, but I, I, I would do very strange things with her because sometimes I would have her breathing with my actors together, you know. So they would, they would synchronize themselves. And, uh, they're just trying to do a very uh, human point of view. I really struggled to, to, I was like, oh no, I want to do a documentary, I want to do a fiction. And, and at some point, it, um, I, 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 I decided to, to blend them, you know, so to take some things from the documentary and some things from the fiction, to take the best out of both. Because documentary, I think, sometimes is too distant or too cold. Um, it's, uh, it has its function, it's very powerful, but fiction through the identification of a character through... I mean, not that you cannot do that in a documentary, but you cannot really reproduce situations. You know, people tell you, oh, this happened to me. And in a way, I didn't want to have talking heads. You know, I didn't want to have people explaining what happened to them. I prefer to to uh, to create an identification with the character, and so the audience would travel next to them. You know, all the time, and they would would experience everything that they experience through their eyes. So I thought that was it's much more powerful. So you can have a very emotional reaction from from the from, from the audience, and at the same time, you can really make them uh, reflect about an issue you know, around your idea.